Hey, what's up guys? Chief Bad here and today bringing you guys some League of War mercenaries on my channel. Now, if you guys have never checked out League of War before, I know Molten Nick posted it on their channels and I was actually watching a couple of their videos. Um, it's a mix between base building and war strategy. So you've got base building aspects like Clash of Clans and then also war combat, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, which is super fun. Uh, and unique as far as how the combat goes, but I thought I would post a video if you guys want to check it out or if you want to join my alliance I'll throw a sponsored link in the description below uh, for you to check out You can see my class or not is pretty empty right now And I've had a request for aid going forever aka like the last two days But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what the game's all about. I'll do a couple of battles because they're pretty fun um, So instead of starting with the base, I'm just gonna go to the campaign mission Do you guys know my favorite part of Clash of Clans was the single-player maps actually maybe not my favorite part But at least the part I was most obsessed about and wanted to see additional maps inside of the game. Um, so they have a campaign mission map as well as the helipad, which you do regular raids against other players. I guess you can equate to sort of trophy pushing. Um, but I'm, let me go ahead and show you guys how combat works inside of one of the battles. So I don't want to get embarrassed and lose on one of the most recent ones. So I'm just going to try one of the battles I've already beaten. Uh, so pretty much you have four different units, at least right now, that you take into battle. So you've got different types. You've got infantry, recon, tanks. I think there's like air which I haven't unlocked just yet. I'm sure Nick and Molt probably have those. Uh, but anyways, you pick your four. You can choose different ones if you want to. So you can see I've got a bunch in the reserves. Um, but that's not the point. Probably flying over your head right now. Let's just get into a battle so I show you guys how combat works. Once you know how combat works, then you sort of figure out what to do with the rest of the game. All right, so both of us have our bases. You can see I got my base over here hanging out, my little defense base. I got a turret on the top. And then you've got the enemy's defense base on the other side. Now in the very center, you can see the number that's building up and that gives me like points, I forget the exact term, which you build up um, to build uh, your units. So I've got 250 right now, I'm gonna build this recon unit and um, and pretty much the, the point of it is to destroy your opponent's base. So you can see he's gonna get some damage on me on the very top left, you can see my little real chief pat green bar is gonna go down, it has a picture of me with an elephant, which is nice. Um, but like over time, you're gonna start generating more energy, I guess I'll call it, that you can use to make more um, make more units during a battle. So usually when you get towards the very end, you can see there's a time limit on the bottom right that you have to win. The It just gets insane as far as the amount of units go. Now, since I am a little bit higher level than this map, you can see I'm sort of tearing through it right now. I've made um, a couple different types. If you look at the map right now, there's a bunch of different counters that exist inside of the game. So like if your troops are red, like that red tank and that red infantry, they do really well and they do special damage against your opponent's infantry. Um, and yeah, if you just dominate, you'll destroy their base in like half a second. That's pretty much how the game goes. Uh, so that was an easy one. I'm going to go to a harder one later. But I did get a campaign chest, which you get pretty much after you get 10 campaign key fragments. So there's chests in the game. You open up those chests to get different rewards. So let me just open up one real quick and I see what we get. I'm still figuring out what's good and not good, so I've been using a lot of the same stuff. This guy's like a one-star unit and he's blue. I think the blue is good. I know red's good against infantry, green's good against um, green's good against tanks. Maybe this guy's good against recon. I don't know. I'm still figuring things out too. So I'll keep him in my I'll keep him in my stash for now. Let's try one of the harder battles and I try to grind it out. So you can see the levels of stuff. There's like one one star, two star, and three star units that I've seen so far. I think they go up to five stars, um, at least from what I saw in the shop. But you can see mine are level 10, his are level five and six. So should be okay. Let's try it out and see if we can uh, pick up a W. Uh, but yeah, the game, like what I like doing in the very beginning is I like letting the sort of energy build up. And I like the, the 285 unit that I have does like this crazy artillery shot. Um, and I added a bonus to make it do extra range. So it shoots from like forever away. But so this guy threw an, in, he threw an infantry unit down and you can see the red one plus damage versus the soldiers, aka the infantry guys. So I'm gonna drop one of my red, my red dudes. I dropped him a little bit late. I was trying to get him right when he was near my turret range. So he got a little bit of damage, but that's okay. So I've got him running down the lane. You can sort of choose to like build it up slow um, and try to get towards the end of the battle and just start dropping a ridiculous amount of, of units. Or you can just go for an all out assault in the very beginning. I think it depends on like your unit loadout. So let's see, I've got like a recon sort of just hanging by itself. He's got a ton of these soldiers. So I'm just gonna keep spawning my red units, the Vulcan units, which do a additional damage to the soldiers. But he also has these defense turrets. The defense turrets are sort of hard to break through. All right, let's play our big beast. I got this thing towards the very beginning. It was already two stars when I got it. It just shoots from forever away. And it does like crazy amount of damage to buildings. Actually, we've already gotten to his buildings. So maybe we won't even need it. I guess he's not going to put up too much of a fight. All right, well, we destroyed it without even needing the big bomber. Next battle, I'm just going to bring him out in the very beginning because it does a crazy amount of damage. 
Um, so after every battle, you get scrap. Scraps used to upgrade um, your units to next levels. So like upgrading a barbarian from level five to level six, same exact thing. Campaign key fragments for chests, like I showed you, cash. Um, you can use for pretty much upgrading everything, buildings, and then obviously experience to level up. So let me see. Let me do one more battle. I'm gonna bring out the big beast, and then I'm gonna show you guys. I'll give you guys a little cribs home tour of uh, what I'm working with inside of, of my base. All right, so let's do another battle. Or we can we can actually go to rank. So those are all against, those were all in this single player map. You guys can watch me get owned in ranked. So if you guys wanna do, I mean, I guess calling it ranked, you battle other people's bases and you can steal um, their stuff. So let's try that right now. Let's try to find someone. We can try this guy. I'm so bad though. I feel like I'm gonna get destroyed. So you can see our stuff is pretty even level, but that usually means I lose because I'm not very smart at this game, but let's try it. I'll do it for you guys. So on the bottom right, you can see I have two minutes and 55 seconds to win. Like if I don't win in that time frame, then all my stuff explodes and I lose. Um, so I'm just gonna save stuff up. He only has like that little thing on the top of his tower, which doesn't even do any damage. It's just a bunker. Gives him a little extra HP. Actually, I should play this. So he played a tank. So I'm just gonna play my recon unit, um, which should do extra damage to it. So boom, just gonna kill that in one shot. Let me go on a little bit of an off offensive push. But yeah, the big yellow beast is what I need to get now in these battles. Usually in the multi or in the like the the helipad battles where I'm play, fang, facing other players, um, it just does a ridiculous amount of damage. And by the way, when you attack someone, it's not actually that person online. It's sort of just facing off against um, it's facing off against the units that they have like preset out. So let's see. You can see, I've got the big beast. It's really squishy though, so it dies if it takes like too much damage. But we're doing work right now. Him not having any turrets is really good for us. Look at this thing. Shoots from forever away. Does like 600 damage or something like that. It's ridiculous. But again, it's a little bit squishy. So we got to make sure we don't get too crazy. All right. Well, we dominated this guy because our little infantry just ran down the lane and destroyed him. I think it's because he didn't have any turrets on top of his base. Uh, and we're actually full on cash. That's really dumb of us. Yeah, we need to get rid of our cash by upgrading stuff. But we've got oil. We had a couple of raid key fragments. So let's go back to... um. Let me go ahead and go back to my base and let's do some upgrades around the crib. Uh, by the way, if you guys have played this game before, feel free to uh, hit me up with any advice. I'll probably be doing a couple more videos. Um, yeah, so this is my this is my alliance, by the way. You can see my alliance. It's called Clastronauts, and the tag is CPAT. So if you guys want to join, it's open right now. No one has joined. My name's Real Chief Pat. You can find me in the game. Um, feel free to join. Like I've requested for aid, and I actually haven't gotten any aid yet. I'm I still don't know exactly what the A does. I think it uh, I think it just speeds stuff up. So yeah, feel free to join. Hit me up inside of the game and get and give me some good stuff. All right. So yeah, right now I've got I've got my hangar upgrading. There's a bunch of different buildings. Like I'll let you guys figure them out for yourself. But the hangar is where you build or where you can upgrade your units. So if I want to upgrade using some of the scrap I got, you can see on the bottom it cost me 34 and it cost me some cash. And since we're so full on cash, we'll spend some some stuff. So we can upgrade all these guys. And uh. Yeah, we've got a bunch of extra reserve units on the bottom. And if anyone sees any reserve units that are like majorly OP, let me know in the comment section that I should upgrade them. Much love to that. I'm still figuring that. I'm like reading the wikis and all the guides and watching Nick and Moltz old videos like I talked about to see if they know any better than me. Um, but yeah, this thing's still upgrading. And I think like once it reaches two minutes, uh, I think I'm like VIP. Or so you can use like a one minute booster and then I can finish it for free when it's within two minutes. There we go. Speed that up. New level, big money, we got some gold. We got a million dollars in cash that we were already full, so we got like none of it, thank you. Uh, but let's do an upgrade. So we can upgrade, this is the defense yard, which you can build your turrets on. This is the research lab where you can do different research projects. That's that's uh, rocket science. Um, the oil silo to where we hold our oil. I guess I'll do an oil upgrade, it costs 79,000. It's not that expensive, but boom. Upgrade's being done. Um, as far as research goes, so this like gives you different stuff on offense and defense. I did the critical strike one first. I'm probably gonna do the critical strike power one next, but it costs a little bit of oil. Oil's harder to get. You get a lot of it from the multiplayer battles. And like I said, I'm bad, but let's open up a free chest. You get a free chest every three hours, so let's see what we get inside of it. All right, so let's see. The t the unit it shows is like what you have a chance to win. All right, so we get a stabilizing gyro. That's, that's tech. So what tech is, is if you go to your um, hangar, uh, and you do tech, you can like add different stuff on to every one of your units. So right now I have like fire rate on this one. I just picked up something else. You got a bunch of different range speed. There's so many different types of tech and depending on your type of unit is uh, yeah, what's good for what you're doing. 
Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now inside of the game. It's really fun if you guys want to play with me. Again, um, you can download it below. And my alliance is the Clastronaut CPAT. I'm going to be playing a bunch, especially because all the upgrade times are still like really slow right now. That you can just keep logging on over and over again. It only takes like 30 minutes tops right now for most of the stuff that I'm upgrading. Um, so if you guys want to play, hit me up inside of my, my clan or hit me in the comment section below with any advice. Um, I'm going to probably do a couple more videos, I think. I'm asking Nick if he wants to show me the ways and uh, guide me how to be a League of War pro. So if you guys want me to do a collaboration with him, again, hit me up in the comments. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun game. Had a lot of fun playing it. It's one of the first base builders. It's probably like the third base builder I've ever played, like Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, and this, as far as actually building up stuff inside of my base. And it feels pretty good so far. Combat feels really fun. I'm still figuring out exactly how everything works, but uh, I wanted to show you guys if you guys wanted to check it out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, any of your advice, if you want me to collab with Nick, everything goes in the comment section below. Hit me up down there, as well as on Twitter, at Chief Pat. Um, but I'm going to keep building stuff up. Hopefully I can finish most of these campaign missions, at least like through the next, probably like three three to five stages. I feel like most of them are pretty good right now and uh, not putting up too much of a fight, but you can like do super difficulty folks. Anyways, I'm rambling. If you guys want to check it out again in the description below, my name is CPAT, Real Chief Pat inside of the game. Alliance is the Clash or Nots. Find me, show me the ways. And uh, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smack a like on it. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.